Hello, Lawrence Romanowski uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I am at the Russo and Steel auction. I'm just doing a preview of some of the machinery here, and uh, I found something that's actually really special and, 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 and something that I've seen on the internet before, and it just happens to be in the same tent as some of the cars that I am showing. So what you're looking at is uh, a 1947 Spartan Manor trailer. It's about 27 feet long. Uh, it's all uh, all aluminum. This would have been uh, th these would have been made uh, during the, the 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 boom of the uh, aluminum travel trailer, um, American aluminum travel trailer industry uh, post war. It would have been concurrent with the the Airstream trailers, which had a bit of a history before World War II, but were started to make in mass after World War II. The idea with these trailers is that uh, the GIs coming back from the war would need somewhere to live and there would and, and these were meant to be homes more than, than camping uh, devices uh, and that there was this uh, optimism in the age of uh, mobility with the American people. There, there were futurists that were saying that you know, a third of all Americans would be running around in these trailers. That never happened. But it's a fascinating part of American history. They're iconic. Uh, most people know what the Airstreams are. You've seen, maybe you've seen my Silver Streak uh, in, uh, photos uh, on, on the net. And uh, But the Spartan is the, 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 the top of the line. Uh, there's something called a Bolus, which is a pre-war trailer that would have started the whole thing that might be, they're made in vastly fewer quantities, they're collectible, but the Spartans, the Spartans are really the top of the heap. One sold in one of the Monterey auctions for 300 and something thousand dollars. Um, they're just gorgeous. They, they were, uh, Spartan was an aircraft manufacturer. They, um, they made basically one of the first executive uh, aircraft that would have had like basically a World War II engine, but with a comfortable interior. Jean-Paul Getty, Howard Hughes, they held Spartan aircraft. And then after the war, they, you know, obviously the demand for the aircraft reduced. They thought they'd get into the travel trailer business. So um, this is uh, this is one of the first 1947 Spartan trailers. So I'll turn this camera around. I'll go through it, and I'll tell you why I think this is an exceptional uh, example. It's being auctioned. I think it's auctioned on Saturday. Russo and Steel. I'll have to check that. Um, this is an opportunity for somebody because uh, you could. You could look at every Spartan trailer uh, for sale on the internet for 10 years and not find one as nice as this. Um, and critical thing about these trailers is that, it, that if it's bad, you, you really can't make them nice just because the aluminum is so hard to work with. So let's turn this around. I'll, I'll show you what we've got here. All right, so I'd say, I'd say that uh, when you're looking at these trailers uh, for a critical eye, uh, once you've established what it is and so on, and, and the rarity of that piece and desirability of that piece, I would say there's two major things that you really need to focus on. And one of them is uh, obviously the, uh, the exterior skin. Um, forget about if it's polished or not. Uh, there's a lot of crappy trailers that are polished. Um, you know, professional polish might be a few thousand dollars, um, but uh, the aluminum dents very easily. And, and it can corrode as well, and it doesn't take much of a beating. So, uh, you know, finding something that's 70 years old um, that hasn't been beaten up uh, and, and hasn't been backed into things is extremely rare. And the other thing is that if originality is your, uh, you know, is, is something you're looking for, uh, well then, you know, the interiors of these um, don't last, they're not that, durable if they're not looked after and of course what happens is that um, you know the the ceiling of all the windows I mean it deteriorates and the, very few of these are kept inside so they're usually out in the weather and then the uh, you know the rubber the rubber seals dry up and then of course lets water inside and water gets inside and then rots the wood and then leaks down into you know takes out the paneling especially around the windows leaks onto the floor and then takes out the floor rusts the chassis and then you've got a big job but let, let's let's look at this one first in terms of the the exterior and you know it hasn't been hailed on and it doesn't have any really appreciable dents this is like a a, a, a 
rubbing strip, and these usually usually are uh, in very poor shape uh, all around. And in this one, we can see uh, that it it isn't, and uh, it's just gorgeous, uh, just 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 a just a gorgeous thing. Uh, two doors on these, one on each side, and then and then uh, so in that respect, um, the exterior in this is. Probably the nicest I've ever seen. There's virtually no areas of any damage at all. Okay, so let's pass that. Now, uh, many people, since the interiors don't really survive that well, I mean, you know, most people will gut them. Um, and then, of course, anything mechanical in these, you know, in these trailers um, is going to need to be replaced. Okay, so there's just none of the wiring. Um, that uh, is going to uh, be suitable um, in between these this gorgeous it's a birch panel birch on the roof and mahogany uh, doors um, uh, in between the skin and the and the paneling is this kind of like paper insulation which crumbles and dries it's not good for anything even a fire risk especially with the um, uh, with the wiring so you what you need to do to do this properly is you need to take all of these panels out uh, number them categorize them do whatever you need to do take it back to the skin uh, take out the floor uh, then address the chassis and then redo all the wiring and all the mechanical and refinish all the wood put new insulation in and build it back um, that will take you a very long time. That is, there is no way to, uh, there is no way to do that quickly. Okay, so we're talking thousands of hours. So that means, you know, if you worked on it eight hours a day, you know, you could probably finish it in about a year. Okay, it's not going to be any less than that. Um, this this one retains its original fridge, its original stove, its original countertops, uh, which is very rare. Um, we have the original uh, shower enclosure, which we can see, uh, which is all lined in metal. Um, the, uh, the owner has uh, replaced every all the mechanical bits that you can't see whilst leaving all the original features. And that is not the easiest way to do it. It's easier just to start from scratch uh, and not restore it. So the owner had a, um, a real eye for authenticity and originality, and he had the time to, uh, to uh, go through it. Um, you know, a lot of these trailers you see on eBay are you know, massively, you know, staged with all kinds of Hawaiian prints and crazy stuff. And he hasn't, he hasn't done that. The, the work speaks for itself. Uh, we, we do have a new air conditioning system. Um, and, uh, you know, this, uh, this is, as uh, somebody, I, I've owned, I have a Silver Street trailer. I've also owned a Spartan, uh, a Spartanette. Um, and I did, did the work in assessing what would need to be done for the restoration. Um, and I can tell you that uh, after looking at virtually every Spartan that's been on the internet for the last five years, um, that uh, there's the one that sold for 300 grand in Monterey, and there's this one, and those two are in a class by themselves. There's, I have never seen another one done this well, and this one uh, probably is the most original. Uh, one in Monterey sold for three hundred thousand dollars. It, it was it was beautiful too, uh, but uh, this one, even the original propane system, is still there. The original pro propane tank. So anyway, it's in the car collector business. We have this saying like, "Go find another." You could look for the next ten years on the internet and never find one this good. If you want a Spartan trailer, um, this is a good opportunity. It's not going to be cheap. Uh, but uh, like I said, there's no way to rep no way, no way you can replicate this trailer, um, you know, for you know anything under a hundred grand, and that's finding one that is in uh, pristine original condition to start with, and the odds of that are pretty slim. 
Uh, I love it. I wish I had the money to buy it. Uh, okay, so that is Lawrence Romanowski. My take on the 1947 Spartan Manor trailer. Doesn't get much better than that. Thanks, everybody.